So a colleague of mine uh, decided to ask me something very awesome. The question was, why does everyone love speedomographs? Um, I don't even know if that's even a real word, but apparently it is. Maybe it isn't. Who knows? But uh, there is a very simple way of making one in Excel. And if you want to do it in VBA, you know, it's, it's even easier. I have to be the first one to admit the code sucks. So here we go. So to find your speed, it's going to be an array as a variant, pointer as a variant, and then your last point. So we're going to do a percentage point, very simple. Um, we're going to do 33%. Percentage equals percentage times 180. Don't ask me why, that's just how it's going to work. Uh, speed array, 0, um, 15, 40, 45, 100. Pointer is array equals the percent point to 180. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that everything that is already there has been deleted. So for each um, object in this workbook dot sheets, sheet one shapes, delete it. We're going to create an active chart. So active sheet dot shapes dot add chart select equals chart chart type equals donut. So this is going to be um, the chart that we're going to manipulate into a speedomograph. So don't worry about the code, it's going by real quick. Don't worry about it. I'm going to copy and paste it into the below so you can just work off from this. I just actually put the speed at three times because no one wants to look at 10 minutes of coding. It's, it's kind of boring, um, but that's totally fine. Um, so I'll just walk you through it. So we've created our chart type as an Excel donut. So now we're going to do CHT, so that's going to be our object. So chart dot series collection equals new series um, dot new series, pardon me. Uh, chart dot series collection one. So this is going to be your first one. We're going to call it speed. And now we're going to set the values to that equals to our array speed. Chart, chart groups one, first slice angle. So what this is going to do is it's going to manipulate it and change it over. We're going to change it to 272. Now that's the magic number to make it work. It's awesome. It's fantastic. Totally works out great. So chart series collection new series. Um, now we're going to do our pointer. So it's going to be series collection two dot name equals pointer. Um, that's going to be in quotations because it's text chart series collection bracket two close bracket dot values equals pointer, which is going to be our pointer array. And now I don't like legends in my chart, so it's going to delete it. So chart.legend.delete. So this is a really horrendous way of doing this, just so you know. But it, it works. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Again, the code is posted in the below. So x equals 0 for each point in chart.seriescollection1.points. We are going to um, format it into the speedometer. So dot visible equals MSO true dot for color dot object theme color equals MSO theme color accent one dot for color dot tint shade equals uh, zero for color dot brightness equals zero dot transparency equals zero dot solid. So because we're going in a loop, if X equals one, then dot for color dot RGB. So it's RGBiv equals VB red. If uh, x equals 2, dot RGB equals VB yellow, if x equals 3 equals VB green, and then finally, if x equals 4, um, visible equals MSO false. So the last little part as we kind of blow through this is chart, chart groups, 1 dot first slice equals 272, that magic number again, then chart dot series collection 2, dot point one format fill visible MSO false then point three equals false what we're doing is we're creating the, the speedometer pointer um, axis group equals two and series collection two dot point two select fill visible make it black so four color dot RGB black dot solid and width and now we're going to change the first slice for chart groups two into 274 that's it. There you go. Runs through. Makes a beautiful little graph. Again, if this is a horrible video, I get it. Um, terrible at this stuff, but the code's in the bottom. It just shows that it works. Congratulations. Now you've got the buzzword of the century, a spit -a -graph. All the best, guys. Bye.